What's good, it's your boy PB3G, and welcome to Blurge. You heard the network. I'm here to talk about the return of Eric Killmonger, the best MCU villain we've had to date. Yeah, I said it. And he's coming back for the sequel. Well, rumor has it. I'm here to talk about all that, so I'm going to get into the report, and then I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on the report at the end. And there's very there's something in there they mentioned that's very interested that I want to talk about that I've spoken about before on this channel. So if you want to continue to get updates on Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, and the rest of the MCU, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and like this video and also follow me on all my socials. I'll put some on this on the screen. The rest will be in the description. Make sure you follow your boy so we can talk all MCU. Okay, so this report is coming from Giant Freaking Robot. Now I know some of y'all don't, you know, their news has been wishy-washy. But this particular report right here is something that I've been saying for a while that will probably happen. And I agree with them here. So what what they're saying is after the untimely death of Black Panther star Chadwick Boseman, fans couldn't help but wonder how the Marvel Cinematic Universe would continue the character story without the man who played him on screen. Tasked with the impossible, the creative team developed a script worthy of King T'Challa's legacy. Two months ago, Giant Freaking Robot learned from a trusted and proven inside source that Michael B. Jordan will be reprising his role as Killmonger in Black Panther 2. Now a new report from Screen Geek confirms our report our report they've also learned that michael b jordan will be in the black panther sequel although michael b jordan's character died at the end of 2018's black panther his return was always on the cards after all it's pretty much an unspoken rule that bad guys can always make a comeback interestingly their report adds a new detail They've heard that Eric Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan's character, will return in the ancestral plane, serving as a mentor to a young hero. They weren't sure who that hero would be, though they speculated that it could be Shuri, played by Letitia Wright. Previously, Michael B. Jordan has expressed interest in reprising his role for Black Panther 2. Speaking to Entertainment Tonight, last year in may the actor said he loves those characters and eric definitely means a lot to him so if the time goes right and if the, and if the story is meaningful he would love to be a part of that journey at the time michael b jordan said that he wasn't sure what ryan coogler was doing with the film but he has no doubt that he'll work with him again even if he does a return as Killmonger. Now, that's the report from Giant Freaking Robot. And I've spoken about this on my channel before, the return of Eric Killmonger. I always knew that, and this is just a rumor right now, but I've always figured that he will return through the ancestral plane. That is the easiest way to keep Michael B. Jordan in the Black Panther franchise or in further MCU con uh, content is through the ancest ancestral plane. Now, he wasn't king of Wakanda for that long, but that doesn't matter. He was a king, so that does mean that he should be in the ancestral plane with the rest of the kings and, you know, queen, former queens of Wakanda. So, that's what this report is saying. They're saying that basically Michael B. Jordan will return for the sequel, and he'll be, and inter interestingly enough, they're saying that he will be uh, guiding a young hero. Now, first people are going to go to Letitia Wright Shuri, which makes sense. It could be her. It probably or most likely is who they're talking about in this report. But there was a rumor. There was a rumor. And I did a video on this. I'll link it at the end so you guys can watch it. I'll do a full, where I do a full breakdown of this rumor. But there was a rumor that T'Challa and Nakia had a son during the events of, you know, in between Endgame and Infinity War or whatever. Or maybe a little bit before that. I don't know. But after the events of Black Panther, there's a rumor that T'Challa and Nakia had a son. And this son would be appearing in some form in this film. Now, you got to check out my other video for the full breakdown, but that could be a possibility that Eric Killmonger will be training or guiding T'Challa's son. It would make more. I think that would be a better look than him and Shuri, in my opinion. I like that uh, uh, Killmonger guiding 
T'Challa's son. You guys let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the return of Eric Killmonger through the ancestral plane? Do you think it cheapens his death in the Black Panther film? Or did you always expect he'll come back in the ancestral plane like me? And also let me know what you think about who or what young hero he'll be guiding. Is it Shuri? Is it T'Challa's son or is it somebody else? You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like this video, gang. Every subscription helps. I just made 300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be on the screen and the links will be in the description. Follow me on Twitter, gang. It's your boy, PB3G. I holla.